Oh, howdy again, folks. Listen, I hit the jackpot. Absolutely hit the jackpot. I found a recipe. I tried it. It is from Kentucky. It is from Louisville. It's from the Brown Hotel. It's called a Kentucky Hot Brown. And wow, this is a sandwich that is spectacular. It's right up there with the Cuban I make. And I'll do a video on that. But this Kentucky Hot Brown is spectacular. You got to try this. Have a go and enjoy. Well, a little disclaimer to start. When I was making this, I was thinking to myself, wow, this is a lot of work. I don't know if I'm ever going to make this again. Well, let me tell you, once I had finished and I ate it, this is a staple. I will be making this a lot. So the first step is to fry up some bacon. So take four rashers and fry them up. You're going to need two per sandwich. Once they're done, just set them aside. So a Kentucky Hot Brown invented at the Brown Hotel in Louisville and usually served at Kentucky Derby time is essentially an open-faced turkey sandwich. It's on a thick Texas toast. It's made with grilled turkey fillets and is smothered with a Mornay sauce. Now you can use other sauces if you want. They're easier to make. But if you want a classic hot brown, it's got to be a Mornay sauce and it's worth it. So take some turkey fillets and season them with whatever seasoning you like. I use my own original rub. And then fry those up in a skillet and set them aside. Let them cool. We're going to carve those up in a little while. Okay, now we're going to make the Mornay sauce. So take a saucepan and over medium low heat, make a roux. So you're going to add some butter and some flour and you're going to stir that frequently until it thickens up and you got a roux. To that, now kick your heat up to medium and add some heavy cream, some whipping cream. And stir that and let it simmer for about two or three minutes. Now remove the saucepan from the heat and slowly whisk in some Romano cheese until the Mornay sauce is nice and smooth. Now add a little nutmeg and some salt and pepper to taste. Okay, the tough part's done. So now we're going to slice up the turkey into strips and then take a tomato and quarter it. Set those aside. The last step then is to take a piece of Texas toast, that thicker bread, and toast it up. Now some people will cut off the crust. I prefer them on. That's just my thing. So get that toasted up and then we're ready to assemble the sandwich. It's not finished its final cook yet, but we need to now prepare it and assemble it. Now the first step to assembly is to take the Texas toast and put that on your plate. And then cover it with a fairly generous serving of the Mornay sauce. Now on top of that, add about seven ounces of that cut turkey breast. On top of that, then add more Mornay sauce. Generous is good. Now on two of the diagonal corners, add two of those quartered pieces of tomato. And then finally, Sprinkle on a little more of the romaine cheese. It can go on the sandwich and a little bit on the tomato doesn't hurt either. Now we're ready for the oven. Now the oven has to be on broil, so preheat it on broiler and then slide the dish underneath the broiler and let the cheese begin to brown and bubble just a little bit. It won't take very long. Be careful you don't scorch it. Now remove it from the oven and cross the top with two pieces of your crispy bacon. So sprinkle on a little bit of paprika, some parsley, and a little more of the Romano cheese, just for garnish, and now you're ready to serve. Folks, this sandwich is absolutely amazing. It's a keeper. You can use it in the RV. It gets two thumbs up. And as always, bon appetit.